good kitten internet i'm back and i'm here with well you can see right above my head i'm going to start playing might magic 7 for blood and honor once more the subtitle means absolutely nothing only this time well it's even more ridiculous ah might magic 8 subtitle at least makes sense so let's go ahead and go through the opening video um for reference if you are watching this in the archive there is no gameplay in this entire video I'm going to go through the opening FMVs, and I'm going to do character creation and explain the characters a lot better than I did for my Magic 6. So, if you want to skip this video, go right ahead. Isun unfortunately decided that he didn't want to be on my lap. So, let's get right to it, I suppose. Alright. I won't be able to see the opening, oddly enough, because of the way the window ends up appearing. Oops. 3DO. Helps if I actually have the show. I can sort of see it. Yeah, you'll notice that it's quite a bit nicer looking of a opening FMV now. Well, that part's the same. And now I'll shut up for a bit. I love this opening. Proceed. While dutifully patrolling the beach at Brighton Point as ordered. Yep, very dutiful. A large raiding party of 40 elves invading our territory. When the time was right, we attacked. Oh, how brave. <laughs> the enemy fell back before the fury of our attack. We accepted our duty to defend our fair land. We killed at least half a dozen of them before they knew what was happening. The rest ran like kicks from an axe. We gave chase, and I saw with my... <laughs> what is so amusing, Master? Nothing. <laughs> Continue. Of course, as I was saying, we were chasing the goblins, shooting them in the backs because they would not stand and fight honorably. These are all NPCs, by the way. But necessary. Yes, Your Majesty. We had slain nearly all of the goblins when we saw the sea monsters approaching. At first we thought they had come to help the goblins, but it soon became clear their arrival had nothing to do with the fight on the beach. We ran for cover in the rocks. Each was carrying a bag around his waist, and each was wearing a curious amulet that looked like a small black box. Mm -hmm. What? Wait a minute. Go back. You mean the part where I personally killed <laughs> two elves with a single arrow? No, no. no. After that, why? <laughs> Tell me about the boxes. They were about an inch and a half on a side and made of smooth black metal. We couldn't get a closer look. Hmm. Those boxes sound like something out of legend. What happened next? The sea people began to quarrel. When one group turned abruptly and started walking away down the beach, the remaining started walking the other way. In the morning, we found that one of them had shed its skin on the beach. Their tracks had washed away with the tide, so we decided to return to base and report. Thank you for your report, Lieutenant Kalik. I am pleased to hear something interesting for once. You are promoted to captain. Assemble a search party at once and find those sea people. If you succeed, you can keep the promotion, as well as your life. Oh, and Kalik, one more thing. Good, Good luck. luck. So the opening actually does mean things in purposes of the game. It is not just a idle opening. Now I'm gonna, you're gonna see a slight pause. Oh, actually you're not. Okay. Um game did the game seriously lock up oh dear i think the game actually locked up that is hilarious oh there's supposed to be a menu right over here and there's nothing there okay i'm just gonna close and reopen because i know if you skip the fmv it's fine so 
Do, 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 do. Maybe I just moved the window at the same time. So I'm running this slightly differently than I did before. I think this will be a lot easier where I don't have to hide my taskbar and so on. Ugh, hate auto hide so much. Why are you not launching? Uh, Gog? Are you going to launch? There we go. There we go. Okay. So, um, this is Might Magic 7 for Blood and Honor. You'll notice that the FMVs are a lot better than they were before. For once, they figured out how to get people to sit still. Uh, they're not trying to learn from the Zelda CDI version. I'm going to drop my volume quite a bit. Um, it's a lot louder for me than it is for you all, because I know you prefer to listen to my words rather than the music of the game and the random sound effects, which are actually quite improved. I really like the music from My Magic 7. Um, it actually has one of my favorite sounds in it from any of the Might Magic series. Anyway, so, this is Might Magic 7. This takes place almost immediately after Might Magic 6. You'll notice that there was a Lord Iron Fist. That's Archibald Iron Fist, the one that, spoiler alert, we freed in Might Magic 6. And for the heroes of Might Magic series, he's the main antagonist of the first few. Or the first two? Yeah, I think it's the first two. Anyway... Uh, Might Magic 7 takes place at the same time as Heroes of Might Magic 4. So, Heroes of Might Magic 3 have already taken place. Heroes of Might Magic 3 and Might Magic 6 take place at the same time. Or maybe it's Heroes of Might Magic 2 and Might Magic... Uh, whatever. No, it's Heroes of Might Magic 3 and Might Magic 6. Um, so, this takes place on a different continent known as Raytheia. And I totally didn't grab the map. I will show you the map the next video. Um, this video is going to be basically me explaining characters and why I'm doing what I'm doing. Once more, if you want to skip this, go right ahead. Also, I just noticed that my window is slightly off. This is going to be the new annoyance. So, the way I have to have this set up is that the window needs to appear very slightly off the screen. Otherwise, things don't work right for me. They work perfectly fine for you. I have OBS set up where it doesn't matter. Uh, speaking of, I need to lock some things in OBS so I don't mess things up. Okay, so, um, you'll notice that the music only plays once, just like my Magic 6. Uh, I could probably change it to loop mode. Anyway, there's a few things I need to explain when it comes to characters. First off, you'll notice that there's a new character class here. So, before I even explain what's on the screen, let me go ahead and show you my little slideshow. Uh... It's not letting me show the slideshow with hotkeys. That's sad. Okay, so here is a my crude drawing of how classes work in Might Magic 6. Uh, there we go. So we've got the three basic classes. We've got Knight, Sorcerer, and Cleric. Uh, these are the three primary classes of Might Magic 6. And there's secondary classes of Archer, Paladin, and Druid. Basically, a knight is somebody who's really good with a sword. A sorcerer is really good with elemental magic. Clerics are really good with self magic. The classes that are in the middle of them are hybrid classes. So the combination of a knight and sorcerer, you get an archer. The combination of a knight and cleric, you get a paladin. And the combination of a sorcerer and a cleric, you get a druid. This is, these are all the classes of Might Magic 6, for reference. Right there. That, that's it for Might Magic 6. Might Magic 7, they added some more classes, though. And the best way I can do that is to draw a little extra part of the diagram. So these are just me doing some line drawings to explain where the three new classes come from. Namely, Thief, Monk, and Ranger. So... As you can tell, the ranger is a part druid, part knight, uh, or alternately a one third archer, one third paladin, one third and uh, one third knight. It, it's half druid, half knight. It's actually a little bit more knight than druid. Anyway, uh, the thief is a half archer, half knight, and the paladin is a half. Or the monk is a half paladin, half knight. So there's a lot more might in might and magic. Seven, which is part of the reason why we're going to go through a might-based party. So, anyway, yeah. So that is my little slideshow that I made in OBS, yay. 
Uh, so as you can see down here in the classes, there are nine classes total. And I kind of showed them all to you. I'm going to reset all of this. Um, clear. There we go. So, also you'll notice that we have races now. And I'll explain the races after... Yeah, might as well explain the races now. So, in Might Magic 6, your starting stats were based off of your class. Namely, if you were a cleric, you started out with more personality and less accuracy. In Might Magic 7, it's based off of your race. And you can see the four races here. This is basically the default starting party with all the default starting names and everything. You've got a goblin. Goblins are very strong and very fast but lack intellect and personality. They are literally the perfect knights in this game because, as you may remember, intellect and personality are for spell points. Knights don't have spell points, so they're completely useless stats. Uh, humans are a bit average in everything. They do start out with slightly below average luck, which everybody does for reference if you couldn't tell, and slightly below average endurance. Otherwise, they're pretty much plain basic mooring. Dwarves, which I loathe, but I've been told that they're not that bad, um, start with increased might and endurance and drop accuracy and speed. And elves increase in intellect and accuracy, dropping endurance and might down a hole. So, elves are the best sorcerers possible. And um, for reference for this party, I'm going to require myself to have a cleric. Not necessarily require myself to have a sorcerer, but I'm going to. Probably. I'm, I actually haven't decided on the party I'm doing. That's part of the reason why I'm doing this video, is I'm talking my way through it. But we absolutely need a cleric in the party. And there's a very good reason for it, which will come a bit later. Um, clerics, uh, none of these classes increase personality. In fact, goblins are the... Er, classes. None of these races increase personality. Uh, goblins are the only ones that decrease personality. So really, for clerics... I can use any class as long as they're not a goblin. I mean, I could use a goblin. Obviously, you, if you've watched my Might Magic 6 video, you'll know that your starting stats only really impact your starting area, and once you get past the starting area, everything will get, well, a lot higher numerically, so your starting stats don't really matter that much. In this case, it matters a little bit more than it did in Might Magic 6, but still, I should try to optimize for it. Um, so I'm going to be doing a might-based party, and there's a reason for it that will come about eh, a third to a halfway through the game. I would say it's the halfway point, basically. It's the halfway point of plot, at least, um, where you'll be made a choice, and without giving spoilers, the choice is effectively might versus magic. And going one route gives you much better magical skills, but the other route gives you much better bonuses to might. I am choosing the might-based route because my favorite quest in the game, which I think would be hilarious to watch, is on the light side only. I mean, might side. So, um, we're going to... Well, we definitely need to change the fortress and voices. You'll notice that they win a little bit less photorealistic this time. Um, Pick me. I'll be helpful. Don't leave home. Serena's default voice sounds like she's smoked a pack a day for the past 150 years. Alexis's default voice I want in. is the most annoying voice in the game. Pick me. Oh, come on. Pick me. Please. That whine constantly happens. So I'm going to be changing portraits and voices and probably lots of things. Um, so for Cleric, we've got a couple of choices. Please we can do Dwarves. We're not going to do Goblin Cleric. Um, for reference, one of my favorite runs that I've ever played through this, and I actually started this as a Let's Play only prior to me being able to record video, is a four Goblin Druid party. It was hilarious, and no, I'm not going to do that for this run. So these are the humans. Dally ho! I may end up going with Tally Ho guy. You'll notice that there's actually skin tone differences. Very, oh, th there's one skin tone difference. What could go wrong? <sighs> me. I guess it's progress. Pick me. Oh no, that's right. There's two. Amber. Pick me. Hey, right here, Jeep. 
That's the other annoying one. There's no way I'm going with that voice. I want please choose me. She actually has my favorite voice in the game. How about me? Then we got the gruff dwarves. And we're all the way back to the beginning. So those are all the portraits. Uh, you'll notice that there's far fewer portraits per race, because, well, we have multiple races. But otherwise, they're there. Species. I'm trying to use the word species instead of race. It's has some unfortunate connotations that I don't want. Uh, anyway. So we are going to have a cleric and a sorcerer. Sorcerer is definitely going to be an elf. Um, Please, I'm going to have her be my sorcerer. Um, cleric, I can make a human or a druid. And then the other two classes. Let's figure out those other two classes. So last time, what we ended up doing was something like this, right? Um, we had two sorcerers, a cleric, and... No, that's right. We had a knight, not a... Not a paladin. Um, so this was a fairly balanced class for Might Magic 6. This is not a balanced class for Might... Or, set of classes for Might Magic 7. This is actually fairly unbalanced. And so let me go through what the differences are between the classes. So Knights work basically identical to the way they worked in Might Magic 6. Oh, let me take a step back. The skills are very different in Might Magic 6 compared in 7. For one, you now have Grand Mastery. Grand Mastery is something that is better than mastery, for obvious reasons, and usually adds a really nice bonus. Uh, in this case, for sword, grand mastery allows you to add your skill to armor class. And personally, that's not really that big of a deal to me, but, you know, it's a thing. Um, you'll notice that grand mastery is in yellow. You can only reach grand mastery by promoting twice. So any skill that's labeled in yellow is restricted to promoted versions of that class that you've chosen. Any skill in red, on the other hand, is unavailable. So, for instance, Zoltan the Knight would not be able to Grandmaster Leather. If I remember right, uh, Thieves are the ones that can Grandmaster Leather? I should probably have that open. Let me quickly do, 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 get my list of skills, which, if I remember right, I'm the FAQ writer for. Skills, character charts. No, I'm not the writer for I'm the writer of the zone map for my Magic 7. That's right. Because there are so many good ones anyway. Just move this over to the right. Nope, not that right. Oh, my monitor's getting a little confused right now. Okay, um... I'm actually going to move this to the left now that I'm looking at it, because it's going to cover up too many things. Okay, so, um, so weapons. Last time we used axe, and I like axes. Don't get me wrong. I really like axes. But we used that last time, and um, also the axe master is a terrible class, which I will explain in a bit. So... Looking at the skill chart, um, swords can be grandmastered by knights and only knights. So paladins can't even grandmaster sword. Uh, we've got axe. Axes can only be mastered by knights. Um, it's rangers that can grandmaster axe, and only rangers can grandmaster axe. And axe is not good in this game. Uh, we've got spear. You'll notice that knights can grandmaster spear as well. That's kind of their thing, is that they have two different skills that they can and two different weapon skills they can grandmaster. We've got mace. Maces, obviously, can't grandmaster mace right now. But uh, let's see, who can grandmaster mace again? Uh, paladins, that's right. Paladins can grandmaster mace. And a chance of paralysis is really awesome. It's probably one of the few ones of the grandmaster weapon skills that I actually want to get to. Um What else we got? Um, bow. You'll notice that I can't even master bow, which sucks. Uh, the only people who can master bow... Hold on a moment, I need to cough. Uh, the only classes that can master bow would be... Uh, yeah, it's just archer. Because not even rangers get that. Anyway, um, so the only way I can grandmaster bow is if I have a ranger. 
an archer, which I'm actually thinking about using this time. Uh, what else do we have weapon-wise? Uh, that's all that this character can start with. There's also dagger. Uh, dagger, knights can only expert. The class that can... Oops. Um, the class that can master dagger is right here, which is a thief. Basically, it gives you a... Oh, that's stealing. Um, it just adds the damage. It's very similar to the way it works in Might Magic 6, except the Grandmaster skill just starts increasing damage constantly, which is nice. Um, also means that Sorcerers cannot, in fact, Grandmaster Dagger. In fact, just the mage classes in general are just not good with weaponry in this game. Um, I think, yeah, the Cleric can Master Mace, and the Sorcerer can Master Staff. Yep. Uh, so let's see, what else do we have for weapon skills? Speaking of staff, um, monks can Grandmaster Staff, which is a very long story and is very bugged. Um, short version is don't. Just don't. Um, am I missing any other weapons? Uh, there's the ancient weapon skill, but that's for later. We're not going to deal with that anytime soon. So. Uh, that's all of the weapon skills. So what I think I want to do is actually make you an archer. All right, so if you're an archer, I want you to... I think I actually want you to be a goblin. So you'll notice that archers can only get up to... I might as well cover the magics now. So each of the... Here, let me switch back to my slideshow really fast. Um... All right. I have key commands set up anyway. So each of the primary classes, so Sorcerer can Grandmaster all of Elemental, Cleric can Grandmaster all of Self, and Sorcerer and Cleric can Grandmaster all of the Mirror Path, Light and Dark. The secondary classes, uh, the Archer, Paladin, and Druid, um, can each master their respective skills not Grandmaster, and Druids still don't have self-magic. However, Archers and Paladins now do. They can go up to, is it Basic or Expert? Uh, let me scroll up really fast and I can tell. Basic. Just Basic. So they can't even learn some of the spells. That's completely ridiculous, and I'll explain that in a bit. Uh, but basically, they're useless in self-magic which is one of the reasons why I want to make sure I have a cleric and or sorcerer. So I'm currently thinking about archer and knight, maybe? I kind of want to make sure I have somebody of every... Hmm. Um, what if I made the archer a human? And then... Get a goblin. I'm the one you want. Choose me. You have to choose me. Pick me. I'll be helpful. Yeah, we'll go with that. So, um, that one. You're going to be a knight. The problem is that I have to make sure I cover a lot of skills this way, which is why this is an entire video and is not exactly going to be a short video. Um. I'm at 23 minutes already. This is a little ridiculous. So, um... So, as tradition, we're going to drop luck as much as possible, because in every modern Might and Magic game... I guess these aren't modern anymore, but in every Might and Magic game, there's always a well that increases your luck right at the start. So there's no reason to start with good luck. Um... By the way, something I should note, that your starting stats, I mean, increasing stats are not necessarily one to one. For instance, increasing this by one gives me two endurance, whereas increasing this by two gives me one accuracy. You'll notice that the bonus down below, or, oh, darn it, I'm not showing, I'm still showing slideshow. Anyway, so, um, here, I'll show you again. Increasing this by one, so you'll notice that over here, my bonus, oops, wrong direction. My bonus increases, or it decreases by one, but I've increased two in stat. 
as a corollary, increasing accuracy cost me two points instead of one to increase by one. So, yeah. You'll also notice that the maximums are a bit different now. It's unfortunate. So, let's organize this a little bit, shall we? So I was challenged to actually use dwarves. I may end up just using... Maybe I'll go with the no human party. I mean, last time everybody was human, and humans are boring. Hmm. Not sure. Anyway, let me continue my skill explanation because I lost track. I'm a little disorganized. I had a very bad day yesterday. I wasn't even supposed to be here today. I was supposed to still be in Florida. So, regular skills. So, there's fewer of them now. They no longer have diplomacy as a skill. Thank you, game. Thank you. Um, there's... Let's see. The skills in this game include... Disarm Trap which is the same as it was before. Um, let me change you over to a thief so I can show you disarm, not dodging, disarm. So disarm trap, uh, you'll notice that Grandmaster has a 100% chance of success. Honestly, you don't even need to be a Grandmaster to disarm traps. Um, master and having enough points is enough to disarm every trap in the game as well. <coughs> or even expert with a nice item that increases disarm trap skill is more than enough. So this is the reason why I'm not going with a thief this game, by the way, is that I don't really need disarm trap. Although I really want to try to use stealing. You know, I think I will go with a thief rather than an archer. Maybe I'll go thief, archer, cleric, sorcerer. That doesn't sound like a bad idea. That gives me a decent amount of might. Let's figure out the skill coverage first. So we've got perception. Um, perception is a skill only, let's see, who can master perception? Archers. Yeah, so, archers, perception. You can grandmaster perception. This means that you just notice everything. And you never get hit by traps. It's pretty nice, actually. Um, we've got merchant. Merchant's very different now, because merchant can be grandmastered by clerics. So our merchant is spoken for. Our cleric is definitely going to be our merchant. There's no question about it. I mean, just like in Might Magic 6, we're going to have merchant on every character of the party, but that's going to take a bit. Uh, let's see. We've got learning skill. Learning, you'll notice that it does the same thing as it did before. The main difference is at Grandmaster level, it increases the skill by 5x instead of 3x. The only learning grandmasters in the game are monks. Um, rangers can expert. Uh, paladins can expert, I think it is. No, thieves can expert. And knights can basic only. Everybody else masters learning, which is good. Uh, let's see. We've got meditation and bodybuilding still. They work the same way. Only the people who can grandmaster it are a bit... Off. I mean, as you would expect for bodybuilding, knights can grandmaster bodybuilding. The other class that can grandmaster bodybuilding is monk. Thieves cannot. Archers cannot. And druids and sorcerers can't even learn bodybuilding. So we're going to be a little more lacking in hit points than normal. Um, also, clerics are really bad at bodybuilding. They can only get up to basic. So I'll probably buy the skill at some point and that's it. We've got ID item. Let's see. Do, 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 do. You'll notice that there's two identifies now. Um, ID item works the exact same way as it does in Might Magic 6, including the fact that it's a completely useless skill because you could just hire a scholar at the start that does ID item for you. I might actually put points into it this time. Just. I mean. I kind of want to experiment with more different NPC types, but at the same time, it's so good. Uh, anyway, we also now have ID Monster. ID Monster allows you to get some information, as you can see. Uh, basically, the first part is what the Horn of Ross did in the previous game that we had toward the end. And Expert Master and Grandmaster are basically looking up game facts for the monsters. 
I am going to use ID Monster, even though I don't really need it, just because, well, I want to actually know these things. I want to make sure that we... Uh, make sure that we actually have information that can be shown to you all. It's a lot easier than me trying to edit in and go, oh, this one has a lot of uh, interesting spells. And you'll notice it's spells now. Plural. Monsters can cast more than one spell. Not just their basic attack and that's it. Or basic attack and uh, one spell. They can even enchant themselves now. Um, oh, so we've got ID item and ID monster. We've got repair skill. Uh, repair skill can be learned by, I believe that, yep, that's paladins and knights can grandmaster repair, which means we're going to be stuck with the next best thing, which is our cleric with repair. Clerics can get up to expert, or master, but once more, if you have enough skill points, master repair is enough anyway, so that's fine. Uh, these aren't necessarily what I'm sticking with to start. There's not much of a reason to do that. We've got our three new skills remaining. So, we've got alchemy. Alchemy is going to be a problem for us unless if we have a druid. Since we're not going with a magic-based party, I'm not going to put a druid in. There's not really much of a point. Oops. So, alchemy, there's only five characters in the game, or five classes in the game who can even learn alchemy. Uh, that would be, that's it, thief, ranger, cleric, sorcerer, druid? Uh, is it ranger is the other one? Yeah, ranger is the other one. Um, and you can only learn up to certain skill levels, which means that if you want to make anything more than a red potion, you need to have the skill. And if you want to make anything more than an orange potion, you need to be at least an expert. Master allows you to get up to white potions, which is where we're going to be stopping. We're not going to be making black potions in this game, because only druids learn Grandmaster Alchemy. Sorcerers, on the other hand, they learn Master Alchemy, so that's where we're going to be sticking. <coughs> uh, let's see. Actually, I think I may end up going with Thief Knight. That's the starting set of classes. <sighs> anyway, um, the other classes that we, or the other skills that we have now, we've got stealing. You can now steal in this game, which is the reason why they added a thief. Stealing is fun, and I don't normally do it. The problem is that you can't sell anything that's stolen. But I've always really wanted to try using stealing. So I'm going to. That's the reason why I'm going to go with a thief, is that I specifically want to try using stealing. Uh, finally, we've got Arms Master. Arms Master gives a bonus to melee weapons. All melee weapons. Um, you see, Grandmaster doubles all the bonuses, which is the reason why knights are extremely powerful in this game. Yep, there's not much more I can say. I think I'm actually going to start with the starting everything. Let me just go back. So, um, I'm going to tweak this around a bit because these are terrible ideas. And for instance, giving people luck. Why? Who does that? So, uh, let's see. So, 13 is average stat. I don't really want to start endurance below 13, which is why I'm going to tweak this around a bit. Something like that might work. I'm going to change the skills as well, but... Those are some pretty terrible skills. And yes, I am actually going to be running Disarm Trap this time. I know that's shocking to anybody who's seen me play any... Oh, I forgot to mention the. there's also now... Um, there's a dodging skill. 
Dodging skill allows you to have an armor bonus without actually wearing armor. There's also an unarmed skill. I bet you can't figure out what the unarmed skill does. Um, my normal uh, might-based party is actually Monk Thief Cleric Sorcerer. And I'm really thinking about doing that, but I want somebody who uses plate. And... The only characters who can use plate are paladins and knights, just like that. Oh, so I didn't get a chance to explain ranger. Rangers are terrible. They can do pretty much anything. They're the jack-of-all-trades master of none, except in this game, a master of none is being taken literally because they can master the fewest number of skills in the game. They're just experts at almost everything. They're just bad. So I'm not going to run a ranger. There's no point. Um, monks are nice because they do a lot of unarmed attacks. They're very fast characters, but there's some bugs with monks that make them a little bit less cool, unfortunately. Uh, thieves are the stabity stabity. They, in general, I think they actually end up with the highest damage in the game. Uh, you saw how much damage I was doing with daggers at the end of Might Magic 6. It's very similar here. Um, they do eventually have the ability to learn elemental spells, but they're pretty terrible at them. They only get to basic, I want to say. Is it basic for spy? Uh, spy... Basic, yeah. Um, there's a couple of classes where it actually changes based off of what path you go as to what you can do. Anyway... Um, yeah. Oh, I already mentioned druids never learn light or dark. Everybody still has the ability to use bows, by the way. Um, they're just not necessarily good at them. And we're not going to have anybody good at bows in this group, are we? Um, you're going to start with merchant. You're going to start with air magic, because oh boy, am I going to need air magic. Uh, Earth Magic's actually nowhere near as bad as it was in Might Magic 6. Uh, mostly because they stole Telekinesis and gave it to Earth. Still a bit upset about that. Um, that's probably good for the Sorcerer. I still need to change portraits and voices. Oh, please do not let me have the Alexis voice. Um, and yes, she's actually going to be using a staff this time rather than a dagger. I mean, dagger's nice, don't get me wrong. Being able to have two different daggers is really nice, but I don't want to start with... I don't want to have to waste money on getting a dagger. And staves are a little bit better in this game. They're still not good, don't get me wrong, but, well, I'm just going to be holding it anyway. And there's actually some good artifact staves. So I'm thinking that or that. Uh, let's be honest. I know how I am. <coughs> All right. Um, you're going to get repair item because things are going to break. Although, nothing breaks at the start of the game now that I think about it. Are you... No, you're bad at alchemy. That's right. Shield skill... Oh, I forgot to mention armor skills. Um, armor skills. Everybody can wear leather armor. Even the elf, even the sorcerers can expert leather. So there's nobody that's stuck at basic. Um, yeah, most characters can master armor. Chainmail, um, clerics can master chain. They can't start with chain, so I can't show you, but uh, I think clerics can master chain at least. No. Clerics can expert leather, chain, and master shield. That's what it is. So they're going to suck at armor no matter what. Although, recovery penalty is eliminated at expert level. Whereas for chain, recovery penalty is only halved. So I may actually end up with my dwarf wearing leather armor. That's going to be sad. Ugh. I don't have anybody in my party that's good at chain. Dang it. Oh, poopy. Three leather and one plate. 
if I get rid of the thief, is there anybody else good at stealing? I don't think there is anybody else good at stealing. Stealing. Yeah, rangers can expert stealing. That's the next best thief. Okay, so I have to use the thief. But I want it. I really like using a variety of armors. <laughs> okay. Um, you'll notice recovery penalty is eliminated expert shield now. They did make that actually usable. Um, hmm. Who else can actually handle chain? Ranger can master chain. Archers can grandmaster. The problem is I really want five characters. That's my magic gates shtick, is that you get five characters. So, ah. Uh, do I give up the knight? Just don't have plate? Ah. Uh, everything is terrible. Everything is terrible. Everything is suck. Okay. You're going to have... The heck do you even need for your disarm trap? Um... That sounded like a cat. Nope, that was my housemate. Okay, um... I guess starting you with your arms master is not a terrible idea. And it'll reduce your recovery time by one just by having the skill. It's not the worst thing. So it looks like sword, dagger, mace, staff. Those are the four weapons I'm going to end up using. I'm obviously going to have bows on everybody again. And nobody's really that great with a bow. Expert, expert, and I think those two are both basic with bows. Let's see. Bow. Bow. No. They're experts. The only class in the game that's basic with a bow. Oh, no. Sorcerers and monks are basic with bows. So, congratulations, sorcerer. You will never have a good bow. Also, oh, come on. Can I actually glitch this? Just curious. Yes, negative 16 to a stat. Nice. Or negative 16 total stats. So. Um, just clear the stats. And I will start adding them. Um, also. Take me. No. <laughs> pick me. I'll be helpful. Sure. Pick me. No. Please pick me. Pick me. I won't let you down. Pick me. Pick me. Mm. Pick me. I'll be helpful. I'll go with you. Pick what you choose. Come on, pick me. Pick me. I'll go with you. You have to choose me. Choose me. How about me? I choose me. I do like Leroy. How or that for portrait. You need a strong warrior like myself. So it sounds like. Worf. How about me? I choose me. I'm your man. You need a strong warrior like myself. I wonder if that actually is Michael Dorn. Anyway. I want pick me. Choose me. Pick me. I'm the one you want. Pick me. Okay. Jake, Faith, Roberta, and Kathleen. Sure, we'll go with those names. And of course everything got cleared out, so. You want might. You don't need those. You want endurance. You want speed. And yes, I'm dropping accuracy to start. I'm going to be terrible with bows. You absolutely need intellect. You absolutely need personality. Those are not in the que in being questioned. Okay. Um, here's where I think I'm going to change things around a bit. 
I think I'm actually going to make my knight human or a dwarf. There we go. And my cleric's gonna be a human. And my thief is gonna be a goobligan. You need a strong warrior like myself. Pick me. Choose me. You have to choose. You need a strong. How about me? I could choose me. How about I'm just me? randomizing the names. Pick me. Choose me. Specifically to people I don't know. <laughs> Pick me. You need a strong Marlin. Like there we go. Jean, Phyllis, and Kathleen. Come I don't on, like the name me. Phyllis. Choose me. Jessica works. Okay, so you're getting personality. You don't need intellect. You don't need either of those. Even though thieves are actually spellcasters, they're not spellcasters until they promote twice. And let's be honest here, basic magic, I'm not going to cast anything of theirs, so I don't care. And you don't need anything. You're going to have max might, max endurance, max might, max speed. Oh, I'm gonna have such horrible stats. Let's not drop endurance further. That would be a bad idea. I'm gonna keep her speed as crap for the time being. In fact, I'm actually going to drop it. Like that. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Can't let that happen. Okay. Um. I guess that. Oh, I really don't like having a negative five accuracy or down to five accuracy. That's pretty terrible. with that. Oh, that's still pretty bad. I think I'd rather just go with 5 accuracy at that point. Uh, I guess that. <coughs> mm, yeah, I guess that will have to do. Um, let's go ahead and get our Ah, skills. You were Arms Master and Bow. Because I want to start with bows. Bow and disarm. Because I'm actually going to use disarm trap now. I guess. Something's really funny because my housemate's laughing like crazy. Um, you were going to be Merchant. I don't really need repair item to start, so I'm going to hold off on that. And we'll go with leather, I guess. Ugh, their armor skills are so terrible. I'm going to be sad without having chain, but I guess she can use either leather or chain. I'll probably swap between them as time goes on. And thieves are terrible at chain, right? Yeah, they are. Okay. So let's go ahead and... Uh, I don't remember the starting spirit magic spells. Let me take a look at them really fast. Um, do, 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 magic spells. Let's go spirit. Spirit magic. Detect life, which is useless because I'm going to have uh, ID monster. Although, eh. And bless. Bless is actually useful at expert level. It's not great, great otherwise. What about mind magic? What does mind magic have? 
Remove Fear and Mind Blast. So I guess that would at least get me an offensive spell. Since she's not starting with a weapon, that's not a terrible idea. And Mind Blast is nowhere near as bad as it was. And they definitely changed the damage mechanics of spells in this game. So you'll notice that I will phrase things a bit differently than normal. Um, is this what I want? So I definitely want air and water magic on the elf. The, just, yeah, that's the way it's going to be. Oh yeah, um, earth magic. What was the main difference beyond actually having telekinesis? Oh right, they actually have good spells now for offense. Like deadly swarm or... That's uh, actually still not good. Uh, stun is not terrible anymore. Whatever, anyway. Um, you're going to start with Mind Magic and Merchant. That should be fine. A little hesitant about not starting with Leather Armor, but I think this is cheaper overall. Actually, that's probably for the best, and I just don't start with Merchant. I can learn Merchant. Yeah, I can just learn Merchant. This way I start with Armor. Um... You're not starting with any armor. You can't start with any armor. Oh, you can. Yeah, I'll start with leather instead of disarm trap. I can learn disarm trap. I know that. Okay, so everybody's going to have armor other than the elf. I'd much rather her with magic than armor. I think this is where I'm going to start. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording here. It's been nearly an hour of me yammering on about parties. Um, yeah. Hopefully this is good. Hope you've enjoyed it, and you weren't able to see Isun, most likely, unless if you saw him running around behind, over my shoulder. Which is unfortunate. Anyway, goodbye, and I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, um, upload schedule. So, I'm not necessarily going to be uploading every day. I'm going to do minimum three times a week, and it basically depends on how much of a queue I have. If I record a bunch of these all in a row... I'm probably going to be having releases daily at 11 a.m. like I was doing before. If I don't upload a lot of these in a row, then I am going to just have, well, three a week. It'll probably end up being something like uh, Tuesday, Friday, Sunday, something like that. I don't know. I'll figure it out. This one's going up on a Tuesday, at least, because it'll be January 1st. Goodbye, Internet. I will see you next time.